We are now gonna be doing the overlay pearl. I sculpted out these free edges. I did these, Tracy did not. Just wanna make that clear. Did nicely. Thank you. You're welcome. And this is gonna serve as our guide for the overlay pearl, correct? Correct. Okay. So basically, now you just have longer natural nails if you look if you want to look at it that way. Oh, that's a really good way of it's putting it. It's just an overlay at this point. Okay, so just our guide. Now I'm just gonna overlay it. What am I trying to accomplish? Um, so larger pearl than you would just on like my natural nail. Okay. And consistency wise a little bit more on the wet side. Correct. Right. Because we're gonna let it run, we're gonna let gravity work with us like we did in the overlays. Okay. And also giving you the chance to walk it to the cuticle area because acrylic's at its best adhesion when you first lay it down. Got it. Okay. Shall we go? Let's do it. All right. And just go, go ahead and lay it down. Go ahead and lay it down. Keep that finger pointed down. You see how it just makes it, just it flows away from the cuticle. Yeah. You know, we get afraid of the larger pearls, but if we're holding it away, it won't go into the sidewalls or the cuticle area. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, actually. I'm not really doing a whole lot. Do I need to brush it forward now? Yeah, let's brush it forward. Just at the front, right? Yeah. I feel like it's kind of drying already. Then use the body of the brush. It's always workable. We just need to more pressure. So you probably let it float a little longer than you should have. I like to use the body of the brush more than to make it go where I want. Wow. Yeah? Yeah, not bad. Okay, let's take a look. Nice around the cuticles. Awesome. The only thing we're just missing. A little spot stuff. there. Okay, so now I want to drop just a little bit of acrylic right here. Yeah. And just kind of brush it forward. Yeah, get it to flow, you know, tuck it to the cuticle and you're gonna cover that. Oh wow, I missed spot. I missed that whole area. I but that's okay. That. okay. But you gotta twist those fingers and, and check all angles. Totally. Probably a little too much. That's too much? Yep. Okay. That? Yeah. Is that good? Yep. Yep. Go straight to it so you can flush it around the cuticle. That's probably a little too much. That's okay. We'll use it through the body. Pull it all the way through. Setting up quick. It's warm in here. So that's why, like, the first three nails, you're getting a feel, right? Yeah. So. This is okay. We still need to fill the hole. Oh my gosh. That's okay. We can file. Yeah. But that just tells us that you're gonna work straight, you know, wetter. Yeah, okay. So get even more wet. So this one, I want you to drain a lot of off your brush. Just get a lot off your brush. Okay. And you're just gonna barely touch the tip and then you're just gonna drain it a little bit and you're gonna pop it in the pothole. Right Wipe there. your brush off and then just blend it through. I like this because we all get potholes sometimes. And what oh, we tend yeah. to do is we that. put it into wet and then we wipe it off. So we have to fill it again. But that little trick of like drain it, pop yeah. it in there, you want it really set up yeah. for the potholes. Okay. So is that is that filled in? You are filled in. We have plenty of product, right? Yeah. We're looking at it from <laughs> no biggie. Yeah. Um, so we're going to file it. Yeah. But you're going to get... Now it's going to work better. You're, okay. You know that we got to work a little wetter Yeah. Um, because it is setting that faster on you. So it's a little wetter, right? We're not going to hold the finger down as long because it's okay. set up on you really quick. So, yeah. you know, maybe like one, two, three to five seconds, and then we're going to pull it up and then you can blend it through. Okay. Oh, this one's much better. Yeah. You know, it's starting to set up. So you can use the body of the brush a little bit more. The more it sets up, the more we just put more pressure behind yeah, it. Yeah, I see. Okay. I, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> All right, check it out. It's just like, I'm gonna pet it. <laughs> nice acrylic, meow. Nice acrylic. I so, think it's good, but I want you to check it from every angle. Yeah, I can see I need a little bit right there. Do you? Yeah, and, and that the little low spot in the front. Bit, okay, right? yeah, yeah. Just a pop though. Yeah. Because you do have a lot of acrylic, so we have room for filing. So sometimes we try to make something even and we're just building up where we were gonna file it off anyway. That but looks like it's a little thin a there. A little bit, yeah. Right? Yep. But how about everything else? Looks like there's a nice arch. Yep. There's product there. I think overall, just just right there in just that front pop. spot, right? Yep. Just... Do it this way or just lay it down? Either way, I just lay it down. Greg does the fancy twisty thingy and blends it in. I'm like, I don't care. Forward? Yep. Just brush it forward? A little bit. Blends oh, yeah. it in. 
And then we walk away. Okay. We, yeah. don't, we don't need a pet I or got acrylic. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good acrylic, we know, but we don't need to pet it. So, yeah. This time I was a lot more conscious about like both sides. Yep. Like, boom, turn the finger, turn the finger. Yep. That helped a lot. And the only other thing I'll say is you it is kind of squeezing out on the sides on you. Yeah, when you I can lay see it down. It's kind of bulbous. It's the way you're laying it down. You're putting pressure, remember? Like get it oh. off your brush so it's still round without pushing it out. So, I'm pressing down you're a little bit. You're pressing a little bit. Okay. All right. And I'm gonna let you just go at this one. Okay, third look. time's a charm. Yep. Don't turn yourself, turn my finger. Maybe I can just move a little bulk over this way. Yeah, by right. pushing pressure on the by brush. By putting pressure on the brush. Yeah. Okay, awesome. You made it longer than your- I know, I grabbed more. You grabbed it's a okay. lot. It doesn't, but look it. Yeah. It looks, I mean, I'm gonna let you look. Look at it from all your point of views. Here, looks like I probably need a little bit on this side. Well, let's let's think. Or can I press it out? Where's your sidewall coming out from? Sidewall's coming out so there. Just like right, right there, there. Right just a pop. There. Just a this pop. doesn't matter because it's yeah. hanging past. So we're gonna file that up. Okay. So when we're looking at that, we got to decide like, where's that groove coming out? Yeah, and where do I need that like product? Right there, yep. right. So I just need to add a little bit there. Yep. But it looks like there's a nice upper arch. Yep. Cuticle area, it, does that, like right there, does it look like it's a, little, it's a little bare in the cuticle area? Just a tad, but I think you could hit that and pull it forward and get rid of your pothole at the same time. Okay. Use the body if you need it. Mm. There it is. It's okay. Looks good to me. I, I, know I know you're freaking out about the little bumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah I am. But, but is that gonna, gonna matter? File, no. But do I still? I don't think I. I think I got the maybe the cuticle area, but. So if I hold this straight, you're good. Oh, it's going to come out like that? Yep. Okay. So this is, can, I do this sometimes myself. Like I'll get something straight and I'll hold it across straight out from that sidewall and look and like, nope, that's where I'm going to file everything up. It's going to be good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A little bit longer, bigger pearl, but in the end, that's going to be, we're going to be able to file that Yeah. and it should be okay. So let me ask you this, like you can see where I added here. Yeah. Is that not going to make a difference when I file? That'll all go away when It'll I shape and file. It'll all go away. Okay. And that's why we don't worry. Cause, so when I first started, or probably six years into my career, I would have obsessed about this, right? Yeah. I would have been like, okay, I need to make it even, and then I add more, and yeah. I end up with a beautiful even two by four that I have to file. You gotta file anyway. So this is gonna take two seconds to blend in with your e-file. Why, why add product right. and waste product? Right, okay. Okay, cool. Good job. Yep. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Sub and subscribe to the channel now.